BMW's S85 engine is arguably one of the best sounding V10 engines ever made. It's a masterpiece from the Bavarian automaker, even if it has its quirks. But what if you took that incredible engine and put it into another BMW's stunning creations, the E31 8 series? And to make it even better, you pair it with a manual transmission. That's exactly what the folks at Rain Speed Shop have done, and honestly, they nailed it. This beast, along with four other insane projects, made it into my top five wildest S85 V10 swap ever. Let's get into it. Fifth place, Datsun 240Z. Typically, when enthusiasts do an engine swap, the engine of choice is almost always a Chevy LS. It's cheap, powerful, and fits into almost anything. The only problem with that is that it's just boring. Everyone does an LS swap. Why not go with something more exotic, more interesting, and more challenging? Well, that's what the guys at B is for build did with this old Datsun 240Z by stuffing it with a BMW S85 V10. For BMW enthusiasts, the S85 is immediately recognizable. It's a 5 liter, naturally aspirated V10 that powered the E60 BMW M5 back in the day and made 500 horsepower doing it, but its power has almost nothing to do with why it's so beloved by BMW fans. What makes it so revered is its noise as it screams past 8000 RPM. It's wild and it's a genuine joy to listen to. In fact, it's so good that it makes almost everyone that drives an E60 M5 overlook many of its glaring issues. So, the fact that B is for build stuffed one under the hood of a Datsun 240Z, an awesome car in its own right, is just fantastic. The Datsun 240Z, for those of you who don't know, was sort of the Mazda MX-5 of its time. Lightweight, simple and inexpensive, but brilliant to drive. Its rear-wheel drive dynamics, pure steering, and lightweight chassis made it great to drive, and it still is today. So when you replace its 2.4 liter inline 6 with a 5 liter, 500 horsepower, free-breathing V10, it becomes absolutely insane. Insane. But the engine isn't the only thing that Datsun shares with BMW. It also borrows the center console from the E60, along with a BMW steering wheel and gear shift. Outside, it's undergone extensive bodywork, including a Rocket Bunny wide body kit, a new rear diffuser, and a front splitter. The headlights and taillights have also been upgraded to new LED units. The 5 liter V10 roars through a custom build exhaust system. With all these upgrades, there's hardly anything left of the original car. Fourth place, Ultima Can-Am by Auto Bionics. The Ultima Can-Am is a British race car, launched in 2001 by Ultima Sports LTD. It features a race-proven space frame chassis and independent suspension, offering exceptional handling and road holding capabilities. The Ultima Can-Am shares its engineering roots with the Ultima GTR, a supercar produced from 1999 to 2016. Both cars were powered by a mid-mounted Chevrolet V8 engine paired with a Porsche transaxle, but when a UK-based tuner got his hands on the Ultima Can-M, he decided that a BMW V10 would be a better fit. Not much is known about this project today, as it was built 15 years ago and only three short videos were made before the tuner moved on to another project. This limited documentation makes it a bit of a mystery, but the concept alone is enough to make this project stand out. A lightweight, well-engineered sports car with a crazy sounding V10. That's impressive. Third place, Lotus Exige by Johan Zacharyson. Johan started his project in 2011 when he purchased a Red Lotus Exige S from the UK. Soon after, he removed the factory engine and began the challenge of fitting a 5 liter V10 into a space designed for an inline 4 with half the displacement. He accomplished this by building a custom rear subframe to hold the drivetrain. He also extended the wheelbase by 10.6 inches and widened the rear track by 4.7 inches and the front by 3.5 inches. The BMW engine is connected to a Porsche Boxster S 6-speed transaxle via a custom-made adapter. The brakes were upgraded to larger Porsche 997 GT3 brakes. The front and rear suspension were also upgraded with components from a Porsche 996 and KH Motorsport adjustable shocks were added. After getting the engine and transmission to work, Johan set about modifying the body panels to fit the extended wheelbase. Most of the panels were widened and made longer. The air intakes were enlarged for better cooling and the splitter was widened. After that, the Lotus was painted BMW carbon black metallic. What's really funny is that in the early stage of development, the V10 doesn't even sound like an E60 V10. It actually sounds more like a sport bike. 
but once the project was finished, it sounded just right. Second place, BMW Z4 by Manhart. BMW introduced the Z4 as the successor to the Z3 back in 2002. At the time, it shared many components with the outgoing Z3, including the legendary S54 engine, a second generation followed in 2009, lasting until 2016. And now, the newest generation Z4 shares much of its components with the new Toyota GR Supra. But if there's one thing the Z4 always lacked, it was brute force. That's where a German tuning company stepped in creating their own version of the Z4, complete with an S85 V10. Manhart Performance of Wuppertal, Germany is responsible for this build, which combines the Z4's low center of gravity, short wheelbase, and balanced handling with the massive power of a V10. A video posted on YouTube shows off the car's performance, and the sound alone is enough to send chills down your spine. <laughs> Before installation, the engine was stroked to 5.8 liters of displacement and now produces up to 621 horsepower and 472 pound-feet of torque. Amazingly, the massive motor fits inside the little Roadster's engine bay quite cleanly. Merely upgrading an engine won't qualify as a showstopper or calling card for any respectable tuning house, so Manhart also went down the checklist of other mods. All that power is routed to the rear wheels through an E92 generation M3 6-speed manual gearbox paired with the M5's rear differential, Bill Stein coilovers, Brembo 6 piston brakes in front, and E60 M6 brakes in the back round out the performance enhancements, making it one of the best Z4 builds ever, at least in my opinion. Honorable Mention one of the very first S85 V10 swaps ever, the E46 BMW M3 by Driftworks. Under the hood of an E46 BMW M3, you'd typically find either an inline 6 engine or, in the case of the M3 GTR race car, a V8. However, UK-based YouTuber Driftworks decided that the best engine for his E46 M3 would be a big V10. This beast was built over a decade ago in 2010, and according to the tuner, it was one of the first S85 V10 swaps in the world. It features a 6-speed manual transmission from the E92 M3, and the engine produces 540 horsepower. With these upgrades, it quickly became one of the most well-known M3s on the internet back then. However, it was sold in 2013 when the tuner moved on to another project, a blue 997 GT3. About a year later, the M3 was damaged in Germany and sat for many years outside a famous BMW tuner shop near the Nürburgring. Fast forward to 2018, Phil, the man behind Driftworks, bought the car back and began restoring it in early 2020. The original plan was just to get it back on the road, but once they started, they realized it was in much worse shape than expected, requiring a far more intensive restoration. They also got a bit carried away with ideas for improvements. The wildest upgrade is the 5 exit exhaust setup, which looks, and more importantly sounds, incredible. First place, BMW E31 8 Series by Rain Speed Shop. The first generation BMW 8 Series is arguably one of the most beautiful cars to come from the Munich based brand, but even in the top spec 850 CSI trim, it was never a hardcore sports car, but rather an athletic grand tour with V12 power. One enthusiast loved the shape of the E31, but always felt something was missing, so he employed experts to make his dream happen. The result is a unique resto mod from America that transforms the E31 into a true performance car. Meet the 858 CSL, a V10 powered Grand Tour with a manual transmission and far more power than it ever needs. Built by Rain Speed Shop, this classic Bimmer made its debut at Monterey Car Week, rubbing shoulders with the all new Lamborghini Temerario and the Remac Nevera R. Gone is the original V12 engine, and while downsizing is often frowned upon, the 858 CSL is all the better for it. Under the hood is the iconic S85 V10, and like Manhart's Z4, the displacement has 
has been increased to 5.8 liters, hence the unusual nomenclature. To top it off, the A58 CSL boasts a six-speed manual gearbox. Rain Speed Shop hasn't shared power output or performance data, but we can make an educated guess based on their engine supplier, Carbon. Their previous builds have produced around 620 horsepower for street versions and up to 720 horsepower in more hardcore configurations. If Rain Speed Shop's project is in line with these figures, it should transform the E31 into a rocket ship. While the original V12 had two extra cylinders, it couldn't match the power of this V10. The early M70 V12 produced a modest 296 horsepower and 332 pound-feet of torque, and even the most powerful S70 V12 in the A50 CSI only offered 375 horsepower and 406 pound-feet. It's not just the performance that has been updated. The exterior has seen significant revisions, with the gorgeous Klaus Kapitza styling modernized by virtual designer John Sabal. According to Sabal, Rain Speed Shop had very specific conditions for the build. The A58 CSL receives a hood with custom headlights. The wonderful pop-up lights are gone and have been replaced by prominent vents. The headlights can now be found on the bumper, where the standard E31's fog lights and turn signals are normally positioned. The bumpers, front and rear, have been redesigned with some CSL flare, giving the 8 Series a sportier look. That's all I have for this topic, but there's one more wild engine swap project on my mind. Mad Mike's rotary swapped McLaren. I've got a video on that build on my channel, so check it out if you want to learn more. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.